This is a patient with a dislocated PMMA lens. It's behind the anterior and posterior capsule, which are fused together. There is a huge summerings ring embedded within that ring, and it would be preventative of placing any kind of a sulcus lens. Uh, the opening uh, is too small for uh, optic capture. Uh, so here what we're going to do is create a scleral tunnel incision. It's very important that this is self-sealing. Um, we're now going to place our parts plane of trocars because we're going to need to do a vitrectomy. This lens is sitting in the anterior vitreous behind the anterior and posterior capsule, which are fused together with the large submarine's ring. Um, so here uh, we're going to put disperse the viscoelastic in the anterior chamber. Uh, we're going to create a self-sealing internal opening here. This is very important so we have control of the eye throughout the procedure. Um, I'm now going to grasp the optic uh, of this PMMA lens and try to rotate this haptic up anterior to the uh, capsular rim into the anterior chamber. I'm now going to get this haptic out the main incision and uh, grab the optic and extricate the uh, lens in one piece. Uh, we're going to do a vitrectomy here and clean things up a bit. Some previous vitrectomy was edited out. Um, the uh, anterior and posterior capsule, which are fused together, are now going to be reopened using dispersive viscoelastic on a LASIK cannula. I'm going to try to creep in uh, between the anterior and posterior capsule and create an opening. I'll now switch to cohesive viscoelastic and try to create a wave of dissection by uh, introducing a uh, viscoelastic into the donut shaped ring that is holding the summerings ring. I want to try to reopen this ring so I can get the uh, summerings ring out and put the lens in. So here we're uh, dissecting with the uh, cohesive viscoelastic uh, using a pressure wave within the uh, donut shaped uh, anterior and posterior capsule uh, recess to uh, reopen that uh, going 360 degrees here. This is going to kick up a lot of uh, junk so to see what we're doing we're going to remove this with the uh, vitrector uh, to get a better view. Now I'm going into the space between the anterior and posterior capsule with the vitrector with vacuum only. I can feel that the uh, summerings ring is still tightly socked in, so we're going to use some more viscoelastic to try to loosen that up a bit. And here I can see it's starting to loosen up a little bit, uh, where I can maybe uh, get it out of the capsular recess. So here I'm going to use a Sinsky hook and pull this large summerings ring out of the recess it's been sitting in for a couple of decades. Um, I want to make sure it doesn't fall back, so I'm going to use a bimanual technique to manipulate this toward my incision and then use infusion to push it out. And here we can see the, uh, the segment of submarine's ring is coming out. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. This side it's even more socked in and I want to be careful not to strip the remaining zonules. So I'm going to use cohesive viscoelastic to uh, viscodissect the summerings ring segment here, which is quite large. And I can feel it's starting to loosen up a little bit. Uh, again, I'm going to clean up a bit with the vitrector so I can see what I'm doing and make sure there's no adherent vitreous. I'm now going to take a Sinsky hook, go under the anterior capsule, and pull this large summerings ring segment out of the recess of uh, the capsular bag fornix. You can see it's starting to loosen up. I still feel some resistance, so I'm going to switch to disperse the viscoelastic and try to uh, viscodissect any adhesions to completely free this up. And I can feel it starting to loosen up here. And this is a pretty big summerings ring segment. Okay, so here I feel it coming out of the capsular bag, and I want to make sure it doesn't drop into the back of the eye. 
Uh, so I'm going to manipulate it up forward and then introduce a second instrument, a reverse Sinsky hook, uh, underneath it to support it as I dial this up into the anterior chamber. I'm now going to cut this into a smaller piece so I can remove it. And now I can get the uh, rest of this giant submarine's ring out. And the uh, capsular bag fornix now should be pretty uh, opened up. I'm going to use uh, cohesive viscoelastic to make sure that 360 degrees there's no adhesions and the capsular bag fornix is open. And now we're going to place a lens, a soft port AO, in the capsular bag fornix. I'm going to directly inject the uh, haptic into that recess and make sure that it's under the anterior capsule and over the posterior capsule. And then I'll take the second haptic and directly position it under the anterior capsule and over the posterior capsule as I rotate it into position. I'm watching the uh, other haptic to make sure it stays within the capsular bag fornix. Here we go, I'm letting go of this. and appears that we're in the capsular bag fornix. I'm going to rotate the lens to make sure that it's totally secure and it appears to be very nicely positioned in the uh, same place that the submarine's ring had been in the capsular bag fornix, that donut shaped segment. We're now going to make sure that none of the segments uh, or pieces of submarine's ring have fallen back. Uh, we're going to do a complete vitrectomy and there's some little bits of fragments and junk and a pacified vitreous here. We're going to clean up uh, doing a complete vitrectomy. Uh, and I like to go out uh, into the periphery and clean up and inspect the area of the vitreous uh, base uh, and remove the peripheral vitreous as well. Uh, and do a really nice uh, complete vitrectomy. Uh, as I do this, you can see the uh, edge of the trocar come into view. Uh, the vitrectomy is completed. Uh, and you can see the lens is very stable. We're closing conjunctiva here and uh, pulling the trocar. And now to remove the viscoelastic, I'm going to use an anterior infusion and uh, use a vitrector with the cutter off to remove the viscoelastic from the anterior chamber. The trocar here is removed. You can see there's a little uh, gap in the sclerotomy, so I'm going to close that with a suture just to make sure I don't have hypotony uh, on day one. When I firm up the anterior chamber uh, after cutting the suture, I want to see the eye nice and firm so I know that everything is uh, holding and the lens is very nicely a uh, stable position. Subconjunctival dexamethasone is injected and the case is completed. Thank you for your attention.